You got Hufflepuff here. Uh, what most believe to be Hufflepuff's cup right here, which would eventually become a Horcrux, of course. Here we have Gryffindor. And you can just make out, like, you can make out the Badger right there. See that? And then you got the H for Hufflepuff here. Then here we got Gryffindor. I'm still trying to make out the exact, like, where the line is exactly. I mean, it's, it's up in here somewhere. Looks like the main here. But yeah, this one I have a little bit more trouble seeing exactly where the line is. And then, of course, you got the sword. The sword of Gryffindor right here. This is the reflection. So we're seeing the outside of it. Yeah. Because I was like, what? This looks like a P. But now, now I see, like, from the other side, that would be a G right there. Then we got Ravenclaw here. Almost a little bit of purple. I mean, just the way the stained glass kind of reflects, probably. So you've got the eagle here. You've got the R. Uh, and then what I think is pretty clearly the diadem, which would also go on to become a Horcrux of Voldemort. And then we have Slytherin here. And this one, I think, is the one that people are most unsure about. I mean, I feel like just to go with the theme of the others, it's got to be Slytherin's locket. Would be the top of my list. It, to me, it, visually, it looks more like the Resurrection Stone. I don't know. From what we know, the Resurrection Stone was a, a Peveril family thing. But I don't believe it was a, a Slytherin thing. The locket, of course, was a Slytherin thing. So 